In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix Overwatch 2 graphics error messages. So if you're getting an error message saying that your drivers are out of date or your rendering device has been lost, application closing, then this is how you can fix those errors. So the first thing that you need to do is close down background apps and programs. So if you have programs like Razer Cortex running, MSI Afterburner, OBS Studio, Discord, and things like that, then close all of this down. Once you have closed down all the background programs and apps, the next thing that you need to do is just remove any overclock settings you may apply to your hardware. So if you have overclocked your graphics card, then restore it back to the default values, but only do this if you know how, as you don't want to go damaging your hardware. So once you close down all the background programs and apps, and if you have overclocked your hardware, restore it back, then launch Overwatch 2 and see if that helped resolve the error. Before we go any further, I just want to say I will pop a link in the description below to a guide that we will do, which may contain more methods that you can do if this video didn't help you out. So it's definitely worth checking that out after this video. Okay, so the next thing that you need to do is also ensure that your computer is not overheating. So the best way of doing this is using a program called HW Monitor. If you click on the link in the description below, you will end up on a page that looks like this. You can then go ahead and download this program by scrolling down and under classic versions, click on the setup English and then click on download now. You then need to run the setup file. You then need to press next. Because I already had the program installed, as you can see there, I need to just press yes. You then need to press next and then go next again and then install. Once it's finished installing, run the shortcut on your desktop. You will now be able to see all the temperatures for your hardware on your computer. So as you can see here, it's got temperatures and then it's got CPU. If I scroll down a bit more, you can see that my process is here and what it's up to. If I scroll down a bit more, you can see my hard drives there as well and temperatures for all of that. If I scroll down more as well, you can then see my graphics card and its temperatures as well. Along the top here, you can see it has minimum and maximum. So you can see the maximum of what the temperature hit while the program's running and you can also see the minimum. So that's how you use the HW monitor. Just keep this open when running over watch two and then obviously go back to this program and just have a look to see what the temperatures are all on and see what the maximum hit. If it's too high, then you may need to clean the inside of your computer or figure out what's causing it to get so hot. So once you've done that and if it isn't an overheating issue, the next thing you need to do is right click on your desktop and then go to display settings. You then need to scroll down and if you have scale and low out set to a different value other than 100% then you need to change this back to 100% as it could be causing the issue for Overwatch 2 giving you the graphics error. So now we've gone through all of that the next thing that you want to do is just make sure you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. So if you're not sure what graphics card you have in your computer, then you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon and then going to device manager. You then need to expand display adapters. And as you can see, I have two options there. I have an AMD Radeon and I also have an Nvidia GeForce GTX 1660 Super. So I will show you how to install a driver for an Nvidia first. And then I will show you how to install for an AMD if you have an AMD graphics card. I will pop a little skip button in the description below. So if you have an AMD graphics card, go ahead and click on that link now. So for Nvidia, we need to click on the Nvidia link in the description below. You will then end up on a page that looks like this. So as you remember, I have a GTX 1660 Super. So I've selected GeForce there, as you can see. I've then selected 16 series because it's a 1660 Super and it's 16 at the start there. I've then selected my 1660 Super graphics card. I've got Windows 10 64 bit, so I've selected that. You then need to ensure you've got the game ready driver selected and you can then choose your language and then press search. You then need to click on download and you then need to click on download again and the file will then begin to download. Once the download's finished, go ahead and run the setup file and you then need to press OK. You can now choose if you want to just install the driver or if you want to also install GeForce Experience alongside of it. So I'm happy to install GeForce Experience as well. Once you're happy, go ahead and press agree and continue if you do agree to the terms. You can now choose if you want to do an express install or a custom. I'd recommend you do a custom. 
and then press next and then click on perform a clean installation. And this is basically going to restore all the Nvidia settings back to their default values and also remove any profiles you may have created. So just in case you have played around with any Nvidia settings, then this is going to clear those settings as one of those settings could be the reason why Overwatch 2 is also giving you that rendering device lost error message. So go ahead now and press next. And once the driver has finished installing, you can then deselect these options if you don't want to launch GeForce Experience or create a shortcut and then press close. Now go ahead and try out Overwatch 2 and hopefully that would have fixed the rendering device lost error or any other graphics error messages you are receiving. So that does now bring me to the end of the video. I now need to show AMD users how to update their drivers. If you did enjoy the video, then click the like button below. And if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. So for AMD users, like I said earlier on in the video, I've got an AMD Radeon graphics, but it doesn't actually tell me what I have. So to find this out, I can open up the start menu and then type in system information. I then need to open up system information. So you need to do this if you don't know what graphics card you have either, because mine is currently using the processor. So you can see here, processor, and it says Radeon graphics. So I need to download a driver for an AMD Ryzen 5 5600G. So you now need to click on the AMD link in the description below. You will then end up on a page that looks like this. So you need to select graphics and then select your graphics card from the list and then select it again and then select it and press submit. If you're using a Radeon processor graphics, then you need to select processors with graphics. And then as I said, I've got an AMD Ryzen, so I need to select that option there. So I've got the AMD Ryzen 5, but it's a 5000 Qi series. So I need to select this option here. And then you can see there I've got the 5600 Qi. So once you have found your graphics card, go ahead and press submit. And you then need to select your version of Windows. So I've got Windows 10 and you then need to go download. Click on the download link at the very top. So the first option as it will be the latest AMD driver version. Once it's finished downloading, go ahead and run the setup file. Once you've run the setup file, you will end up with a window that looks like this. You need to click on install. You will now end up with a window that looks like this. So I just want to point out if you did download the wrong driver, then it would have not let you go onto this screen right now. It would say wrong driver downloaded. So we now need to select additional options. And you then need to tick this option here that says factory reset. And we then need to deselect keep user settings. So this is just going to reset everything back to the default values and it will wipe any user settings or anything that you have set with the AMD software. So if you have set a setting or a load of different settings within the AMD software, then this is going to clear that as one of those settings might also be the reason why you get the Overwatch 2 rendering device lost error. So once you're happy with everything you selected there, go ahead and click on install if you agree to the terms. And there we go, as you can see, the AMD driver has now been installed. You need to go ahead and click on restart and then launch Overwatch 2, and hopefully that would have resolved the rendering device lost error message you were receiving. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see another computer sluggish video, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.